Welcome to the session. I'm so glad you're here. Let's have a look at what we'll be doing today. Okay, we're going to be focusing on the glutes today. The glutes are a powerful team of muscles that are very important for creating a strong connection between the upper and lower body, preventing hip, knee and lower back pain, maintaining full body strength, improving your athletic performance, and basically just making everyday movements such as standing, walking, climbing stairs, sitting, and even lying down much easier and more comfortable. So they really, really are an important part of the body. So some of the muscles of the glutes are large and some are smaller, but each has a very important function in the way your body functions. Okay, and once again, it's the fascia that holds them together. So when our fascia in the gluteal area gets dense and tight, the muscles are restricted and less effective. When scar tissue is present in that area, dysfunction can occur. Okay, so I hope you're ready. Today we're gonna need a chair, a mat, a pillow, or a towel. Let's get started. Standing up straight, imagine that string pulling you up from the crown of your head, you're floating from that string. Focus on your posture. So we're gonna tuck the chin back slightly, shoulders up, around, and drop it down so that your ears are in line with your shoulders. We are going to tuck that rib cage in, make sure it's in so that the ribs are over the pelvis. Okay, now we're gonna make sure that our feet are hip width apart and we have equal weight distribution over both feet. Imagine your feet sinking into the ground, so those three points by your big toes, your small toes and your heels find that center point, okay? Now we're gonna activate our deep core muscles, so our pelvic floor muscles. Imagine it's that sling that you've gotta lift up. Remember, just 30%. Your TA muscle, your transverse abdominal muscle, your corset muscle that has to activate to stabilize your back. Imagine that tight pair of pants that you've gotta zip up, just 30%, and then your diaphragm top acting as a shelf over here. So we have a nice strong core connection. I want you just to roll the shoulders back, breathing in and out. And keep those shoulders back. We're gonna go take our feet, take them out at about a 45 degree angle. So. Legs out, you decide how wide you want your legs, up to you. If you need to hold onto something for balance, that's also fine. We're going to lower down into a plie position. From here, we're gonna push our feet down into the mat. As you do that, you feel your glutes activating. From there, you're just gonna move around to take note of what you're feeling Make sure that you're pushing down into the mat and you can feel those glutes firing. Focus on those glutes. Good work. Take note of what you're feeling. Your brain needs to tell those glutes to activate. Keep lengthening your spine. Your deep core is activated. And back to center. Now we're gonna push down and forward. Slightly different sensation. So you're going to push the feet into the mat and now try and bring them forward. So you'll activate those inner thigh muscles as well. Hold it there and once again, just move around. Take note of what you're feeling. Focus on those glutes. You're still tightening those glutes as you push your feet into the ground. You're bringing those feet inwards. So we're activating these muscles here. Keep going. Our spine is lengthened. We're activating our deep core muscles. And slowly lift back up. And we're standing up straight. 
Once again, check that your posture is correct. Make sure that you've got that equal weight distribution. I don't want you standing to the side. So equal weight distribution. And we're going to focus on activating our glutes. So as we're standing, we're just going to squeeze the glutes and release. Squeeze the glutes and release. Keep going. So focus on those glutes. Really focus on tightening those glutes. Now you can go one side and then the other side. So focus on squeezing that left glute and then the right glute. Left, right. Keep going. So you're really having to focus to activate just one side at a time. And release. And now together again. Activate, release. Activate, release. Keep going. Focusing on these glutes. They're so important. And relax. Well done. Sitting up straight, you're taking your legs in front of you about a fist distance away. Okay. From there, we are going to place our hands on the outside of our knees. We're going to push outwards. Okay. So our legs want to go out and our knees are going to resist that movement. Okay. So make sure that you are firing these glutes as you push outwards. Okay, so activate by pushing the knees inwards with those hands. Those knees want to come out. Push, push, push. And release and back. Make sure you're lengthening your spine. Chin is tucked back. Activate, push those knees out. The hands are pushing the knees inwards. Allow the movement. And release and back. Activate. Keep resisting as you move those legs out. Focus on firing those glutes and release. Let's do two more. Activate. And move those legs. Keep that resistance. And release. One last one. Activate. And move those legs. Keep that resistance. And release. Well done. Lying down on your back now. So remember, always on your side first and then onto your back. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our right ankle over your left knee. Okay. So in this position, you're relaxed, engaging the core, lengthening the spine. Make sure you're in a neutral position. What we're going to do, we're going to put our hands on the outside of the knees. You can do one hand or both hands, up to you. We're going to take the knee outwards, so you'll take it out. We push it, the resistance, we want to take the knee away from us, okay? But we are going to apply resistance with the hands and we're going to pull, pull, pull in towards your opposite shoulder, okay? So I really want you to focus on using your glutes to pull that knee away. I want you to make sure that you are pushing your heel into your thigh. So focus on pushing that heel into the thigh. And the more you do it, the deeper into the, the performance you'll get. So we're going to push away, activate, hold that activation as we pull the knee towards the opposite shoulder while trying to take the knee towards away from us. And then we'll release, no resistance and do it again. Okay, so let's get ready. One or both hands up to you on the outside of the knee. We're going to prepare, activate that muscle. So we're taking the knee that way and our arms are trying to resist the movement. And now we're going to start moving the leg while keeping that activation. Make sure that you are pushing your knee away from you. You're pushing your heel into your thigh. Keep activating. And relax back. We're going to activate again. So push that knee away from you. 
push that heel into your thigh, activating the, the piriformis muscle. Keep that resistance as you pull the knee in towards the opposite shoulder. And release. Activate. Move while activating. Hold it. Keep pushing your ankle into your thigh. And release. Activate. Keep going. Keep your core activated, your deep core. And release. We're going to do one more. Activate. Keep activating as we move. And relax. Well done. We're changing over to the other leg now. So you're going to take your left ankle over your right knee. So remember, our leg wants to move that way. Our hands, we're going to resist and pull the knee across towards the opposite shoulder. Okay, so we're going to start by placing our hands on the outside of your knee. You can do one hand, two hands, doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. We're going to prepare, we're going to engage the deep core muscles, make sure your chin's not sticking out, you want to tuck that chin slightly. We're going to activate by pushing that knee away from us, make sure you're pushing your heel, your ankle into your thigh. So we activate, keep that activation, keep pushing your ankle into your thigh as you move the leg, keep resisting towards opposite shoulder and release with no resistance. Good work, we're going again. Activate. Keep activating while you're moving. Keep pushing your ankle into your thigh. And release. Activate, push that ankle into the thigh. It's very important that you do that. Cool, keep that activation, keep resisting. And release. Good work. You're going to do two more. Activate and move. Keep pushing your ankle into that thigh and release. One last one. Activate. release good work okay we're going into the medial glutes area the big glutes we're going to lift our right leg up okay remember slight bend in the knee pushing our heel away from us so we want our leg to move in that direction okay but we're going to apply resistance with the hands and we're going to pull the leg towards us i want you to focus on really using your glutes to resist so I want you to make sure your right glute is firing you will feel in the hamstring a bit but I want you to focus on using that glute to do the movement to resist okay make sure you're in a neutral spine your hips are level shoulders are back and down chin is tucked we're going to lift that right leg up hold behind the knee so we're going to activate by pushing our leg our leg wants to try and move down but our arms are straight, so you're resisting that movement. We're activating, and now we're going to move. Focus on firing those glutes as we pull the leg towards us. Focus on those glutes. And release. Good. Relax the shoulders. Our arms are straight. Let's resist. So activate those glutes. Focus on the glutes. And now bring that leg towards you resisting the movement and release so if your leg shakes that's fine that's perfectly fine we're going again activate and pull resist that movement and release two more activate resist and move 
and release. Good work. You've got one more. Focus on those glutes. Activate. Keep that activation as we move. Focus on the glutes. And relax. Slowly take that leg down. I'm changing over to the other side. So before you get there, remember, chin tucked, neutral spine. Keep those hips level. We're going to lift our left leg up. Slight bend in the knee. And once again, our leg is going down. We're going to resist with the arms and pull the leg towards us. I want you really to focus on using these glutes to do the movement. So we want to fire these glutes. Okay, so we're starting with our arms straight. We're going to activate by pushing that leg away from us. And we're going to move as we hold that activation. Bring that leg towards you, but focus on activating those glutes to try and take the leg down and release activate and move hold that activation and release activate focus on those glutes the whole time that you're pulling that leg towards you and release Activate so you actually really have to focus on those glute muscles. Tell your brain to activate your glutes. And release. One last one. Activate. Oh, resist. And release. And take your leg down. We're just going to take our knees side to side, relaxing the body. Keeping your shoulders flat. And back to the middle. Our legs are hip width apart, our feet are grounded to the floor. Hands are down, palms facing down. We're going to push our feet down and away from us. As we roll up one vertebra at a time, push your hands into the mat, feet are pushing down and away from your bum, and roll down. Push your feet into the mat, arms down, feet away from us as we tilt the hips and roll up, and roll down. We're going to do one more. Push feet, arms into the mat. Push your feet away from you as you roll up. Keep pushing away. Keep pushing down into the mat as you roll down. Bring one knee in towards the chest. If you can, bring the other knee in, either holding on top of the knees here or under the knees just relax the body and I just want you rocking side to side and take one leg down at a time well done